So, so today in this video we'll talk about soil classification and the classification of soil is performed based on the particles diet. So let's talk about soil classification and soil is categorized into two major types. First one is coarse type of soil and the second one is fine type of soil. So as I earlier mentioned that the soil classification is carried out based on particles diameter. So based on particles diameter soil is classified into two major types coarse type of soil and fine type of soil. Then coarse type of soil is further divided into two types and the first one is gravel and the second one is sand. Then similarly fine type of soil is further divided into two major types that are silt and clay. As I earlier mentioned that soil classification is carried out based on particles diameter. So we need to know the diameter of particles that is used to determine or to classify the type of soil. So let's discuss one by one and how we believe uh, assign the particle diameter to the corresponding soil type. So if I want to define that whether my soil type is coarse or fine, for that purpose, I need to know that how much percentage of soil is having fine content and how much percentage of soil is having coarse content. So let's try to define the coarse content first and then the fine content. As we know that if the soil if the soil is containing the particle sizes 50% particle sizes having size less than 0.075 mm if a soil has particles more than 50% that are having diameter less than 0.075 mm, then a soil is overall classified as fine type of soil. What does it mean? If I say that my soil is containing 60% particles with diameter or size less than less than 0.075 mm then it means my soil type is fine it doesn't mean that if a soil is fine type of soil and it doesn't contain any coarse content so as i mentioned that if a soil is having let's say 60 percent of the fine content then the remaining content is coarse so so overall the soil type is fine type of soil but it contains 60% of particles having sizes less than 0.075 mm but it contains 40% coarse content. Now how we define coarse content or how we define coarse type of soil. So coarse type of soil is defined in an opposite way like if our particles having sizes greater than 0.075 mm and the content of the soil is more than 50% that are having sizes more than 0.075 mm then the soil will be classified as coarse type of soil. So now we got to know that how we define fine content and how we define coarse content. Now we need to define gravel and sand particle sizes. So gravels are defined as the particles the particles having size greater than greater than 4.75 mm. 
are known as gravels. So it means the particles which are having sizes greater than 4.75 mm will be classified as gravel. Then how we define sand? Sand can be defined as the particles having size between 4.75 mm to 0.075 mm. So the particles having size in between this range are termed as sand particles. And the particles having size less than 0.075 mm are classified as fine content. Now, how we define silt content and how we define clay content? So the particles having size less than 0.002 mm. The particles having size less than 0.002 mm are known as clay particles and the particles having size between 0.075 mm to 0.002 mm are known as silt content. So in this way we classify soil types based on particles diameter. diameter. So remember always the soil classification is carried out based on particle diameter. Now in the next video we'll try to know that how we determine the particles diameter which are the techniques which are used to determine the particle sizes. So uh, let me give you a highlight of our next video. In the next video we'll talk about uh, sieve analysis and hydrometer analysis. These are two techniques which are used to uh, determine the particle sizes that how we determine the gravel content size, how we determine the size of sand particles and then we'll try to know that how we can determine the size of silt and clay using hydrometer analysis. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thank you. We'll meet you in the next video.